In this video, I'm gonna share two ways that you can get your PBR textures from 3D Coat into Thea Render utilizing their standalone application called Thea Studio or using one of their plugins for applications like 3ds Max or Cinema 4D and so on. The first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and export our model, just standard export. Click OK. And the main thing I need to bring to your attention in this export dialog is the first option here, this little drop list menu. You have gloss color specular, which is the most common for most 3D renders. Uh, when you're working with game engines, roughness and metalness usually comes into play. And this is the one we're going to utilize in this first example where we're going to work with their material converter called Substance to Thea. So I want to check all my individual maps. Make sure I have the right ones selected. Hit OK. OK, looks like it's already exported. Now, I'm not going to concern myself with all these parameters because this is strictly for substance materials. But in this case, we can simply load our textures from hard disk. So base color. So I have a UV map for the head and one for the body, so I'll have to create two different materials here. Once you locate all your files, then you can save and give it a name for your Thea material. So I stored one for the body. Now I'm going to look for all the maps for the head material. And I'll just repeat the same process. And now I'm done. Go to 3ds Max and I'm going to bring up the material editor. It's going to bring a Thea material into this workspace here from the material section. Let's zoom in a bit. Double click on this main node. And I'll open the Thea material editor. Same one that you'll see inside the Thea Studio. So I'll select the one for the body. Just double click on that. Just select it over here and hit accept. Looks like I have an extra note here just hanging out in space. Okay, and I'll create another one. This one for the head. Double click on that, hit accept. Okay. So I'm going to right click and choose materials, standard, multi sub object. Double click that, set the number of slots. And this is just going to connect our individual materials that we have uh, per UV map. So again, one for the body and one for the head. All right. So I'll just go ahead and plug these in. So I can drag whip that onto the model here or with the model selected, I can choose assign material to selection. So minimize the material editor. Views, show materials as, there we go. 
So let's go ahead and cook off a render. It looks pretty good. Very close to what we have inside 3D Coat. And this is physically based rendering in the viewport. So again, what you see here is pretty much what you're going to get at render time with all the maps hooked up properly. All right. So that's one way. The other way is we can use our 3D Coat AppLink Connection plugin for 3ds Max. I'm going to dock it to the right by right clicking on Dock Mode Toggle. And you have these material presets. The default ones are Arch and Design for Mental Ray and iRay. But I want to point out how you can add a Thea preset here. So I'll just go ahead and click on that. We're going to provide a link to a .mat file in the description box. And what you want to do with that is copy it to your documents directory AppLink Max 3D. And you can see the other presets already loaded here. And so just copy that into this particular folder and the AppLink is going to use that to set up your materials. So I'll just go ahead and delete this mesh. And from inside 3D Coat, I'm going to export to 3ds Max, and I'll choose a 2016 folder, Camelbot. Yes. This time, rather than roughness and metalness, we're going to go with a gloss color specular. And as I may have mentioned before, this is the most common one for most 3D renders. And the color specular is basically your reflection color or reflection texture. So in this case, I don't need metalness, so I'll uncheck that. And everything else looks good to go. So I'll hit OK. OK, so zoom out a bit. I want to clear all of these and the delete key. I can condense that down. So in this case, all I have to do is just drag that into the workspace here. And you'll notice it already has all my materials set up. The only thing I have to do at this stage is that I have to locate the maps, just like I did with the Substance Thea material. So I'll zoom in. And so that's the color. Just double click on each node. In order to speed things along, I'm going to skip forward while I look up the maps. And with the object selected, choose Apply Material to Selection. And we'll go ahead and render. And obviously we can tweak our materials uh, to be a little bit brighter if we need, or reflections. But you can see the rubber looks just like we have it in 3D Coat. Uh, you can also see the rubber hoses here. And the reflective kind of glass material for these diodes. And all the metal looks like metal. All right, so that's going to wrap up this look at getting your PBR textures out of 3D Coat and into the render rather quickly. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.